everybody, what's going on? We're Stephen Gamer, and we're back again with a brand new hero spotlight, guys. We have a new hero that just dropped today on the Conjuring Stone. So let's go ahead, guys. We're going to start pulling her. We're going to see what she's all about. I'm going to let you guys know if she's worth it or not. Take her in action and all that good stuff, all right? So let's go ahead. Let's not waste any time. Let's begin. I got a free gold chest, so let's shake it off here. Shake off the bad luck. Yep, yep. That's a pretty bad luck, guys. And I got one free pull, so I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to pray to the RNGs that I pull her on my free. What are the chances? There's, there's no way. Yeah, of course not. No freaking way. But we got Dr. Zeno, which I don't need. All right, guys. 10 pull. I, the first 10 pull would be great. Yes! Yes! Huh! Beautiful, Bella. Ooh, Bella, Bella. Mwah. Bella in Italian means beautiful. I'm pretty sure, guys, right? Bella means beautiful. Spider Princess. Uh, wow, look at her. This looks weird as hell. But pretty cool. But weird. Bella? The Yo, this chick reminds me a lot of uh, Corona, right? As soon as I saw her, I'm like, what? A lot like Krona, a lot like Arachna. So this is like the third kind of spider creature, even though Krona is probably something different. But Arachna is definitely a spider, guys. So there we go. We pulled her on our first 10 pull, which is incredible. Very, very lucky because that would have been another 4K dropped on her, which you don't want to do. But now it's time for her to upgrade her and see what she's all about. Let's see what the spider princess can do, guys. So let's go ahead. Let me get her to level 100. Yep. Level 100, and then I'm just going to fuse her really quickly here. Alright, let's keep going. I don't want to waste all the time fusing. So I'll probably just fast forward this guy, so... Because it takes too long to fuse this. I wish there was an auto-fuse all button, if you wanted to. But actually, if you really think about it, it's not the best idea, because not everybody's going to want to fuse somebody all the way to max. Probably waste a lot of their good items. Alright, but I can do that. I've been <laughs> just hoarding items for a long time now. Hoard her! Hoard her! She looks interesting, though. Look at her. A very cool-looking hero. Ooh, I wonder if she's gonna be good. Alright, guys, so we're already at orange. There is orange plus uno. And orange plus dos. Bam! There we go, boys. Orange plus two. I'm gonna give her all these good items here. Oh, my God! That's my last purple jade. That's not good. Jeez, I'm running really low on equipment here. Alright, La Bella Vista, my homegirl. Let's go ahead, guys, break down the abilities really quickly here, because I want to see what these abilities are about. First ability is long. Spider's Nest. Bella gains energy faster than other heroes. She uses her natural energy to expand her nest, the territory around her. Her nest? Wow, okay. Allies and enemies who are within the conf uh, confines of her territory are affected in various ways. Allies have increased physical and magic attack, while enemies have a chance of losing energy whenever they uh, take damage. The more uh, allies that are within the territory, the stronger these effects become. Whoa! In addition, units summoned by uh, Bella deal additional damage while they are within the territory. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool, guys. And I'll show you what this is all about a lot, um, you know, a lot better a little bit later on when we take her into a battle. I just want to get an overview of what these do. So, the uh, first ability, I guess, is going to have some kind of a territory where... Uh, well, we'll talk about that later, but seems okay. Bella summons spiderlings that aid her in battle. Whenever she expands 300 energy, uh, the spiderlings rush to the enemy unit with the lowest health and attack several times before self-destruction. All right, the spiderlings become stronger when Bella's nest is upgraded in the arena. Oh, in the arena, the timing of Bella summoning spiderlings and upgrading her nest depends on her position within her team formation. What does that mean? After Bella has upgraded her nest twice, the spiderlings will blind enemies uh, when they self-destruct. After she has upgraded three times, it adds a silence effect. Okay. When spiderlings die within her territory, Bella recovers 50%, I mean 50 energy. Wow. So both, uh, both her abilities right now, guys, have a lot to do with her energy. So it seems like she is a great hero. To build energy. So she builds energy really, really quickly. And it affects her in multitude of ways. Okay. She's the Spider Woman. 
Bella shoots seeds that grow wi uh, vines that entangle enemies. While uh, enemies are entangled, they are continuously drained of health. Woo! This one is not bad. This one is pretty cool because you guys already know a bunch of the heroes that are going to be jumping around us right away. Ezio is dead. Or is it Ezio? Is it Ezio or Ezio? Whatever. So Ezio is going to be entangled and then can't move, losing energy. Okay, that seems like a decent ability. Nothing great, but... It could help. And then last one, fourth ability, Seed Burst. Bella drops seeds which explode and deal damage as well as unleashing plants that entangle enemies. Enemies that are um, continuously in a range wait, of the uh, exploding seeds will take additional damage and be stunned. Alright, so this is a kind of DPS damage here where it does some damage and it entangles. Not bad. Okay, so these abilities seem okay, guys. And then, don't forget, she comes with an awakening. So, what is this? Territory defense. Enemies that enter into Bella's territory will be stunned and entangled. Whoa! Spiderlings will also appear next to the enemy and attack them. Wow, so this looks like a big boost to her first, I mean, her ultimate and her spiderlings ability. So, uh, having her awakened seems like the way to go, guys. I feel like she's going to be one of those heroes, kind of like Petrol's and some of the other heroes that came out that at first were like, well, it doesn't seem to be worth it. it. doesn't seem like it's a great hero. But then it turns out, once you awaken them, they become stunningly good. All of a sudden, they become great. And she kind of seems like she will become something like that. But we won't know for sure until I have her awakened. But for now, guys, it's time to take her into a battle. And uh, let's see what she's going to do in the battle. And then we'll know a lot more about her, you know, a little bit after. Alright guys, so let's get into this battle and find out what she actually does. So I sped this first part up for you guys because look, she turns into a sheep and it doesn't really, you know, get through all of her abilities. So I said, let me speed this up. The next part is going to be a lot more slower for you guys can see. But just keep in mind guys, the area that she's in right now is her nest, alright? Behind her, that's her nest. It's very, very crucial. It's very important to her. We'll break that down in just a second. But uh, that's kind of her more, most important thing about her is her nest. So uh, she's it's, it's crucial to her. And uh, once, once she begins the battle, as you can see, the nest is very tiny. It's very small. It's essentially only for your backline heroes at the moment right now. Now, let's break this down as what happens with her nest. We're going to uh, break down her ultimate right now because I'm just activating her ultimate. And you can see what it's going to do. But So Bella expands her nest. So it goes from there. You will see it's going to expand to more of the battlefield allies and enemies within the nest are affected in different ways allies have an increased physical and magic attack enemies have a chance of losing energy when they are uh, attacked and taking damage the more allies that are in her territory the stronger uh, these effects become in addition units summoned by bella deal additional damage while they are within her nest all right so as long as your heroes are within her nest, they're going to gain physical and magic attack. Enemies have a chance of losing energy if they are there. So this is essentially another hero that's kind of trying to put an end to the meta right now of Volko and Batman and all these heroes here. So this is great counter to Batman if you can see uh, Volko as well. All heroes that are within the nest are getting boosted if they're yours. If they're not yours, they're taking damage and losing energy if they're not yours, all right? And uh, another boosted effect is her spiderlings are actually getting a boost here as well. So that's the effect of her nest. Now, when she goes into her ultimate, what it does is it will... Let's speed this up. It's going to make her nest a lot further out. So instead of just having the backline heroes that are affected by her nest, now you're going to get your midliners as well. And even your tank is in her circle right now as well so with her second with her first this is actually her first upgrade with her first upgrade to her nest she's covering your whole and uh you know your whole party now not only does she expand your territory but as you can see her um nest is actually upgrading this will upgrade her spiderlings which we'll talk about in just a second but it does two effects as you can see it levels up and it moves further out covers more of your team and actually more of your opponents as well so that's one bonus of her ultimate which is actually really really cool because the more heroes that are within the better the more heroes that are not within it's harder for them now let me go into our second ability which is our spiderlings so bella summons spiderlings that are um that aid her in the battle spiderlings they're going to rush into your opponent's um enemy with the lowest health 
and attack them several times before they self-destruct. The spiders become stronger when Bella Nest is upgraded. All right, so that's why I pointed that out. So the more you upgrade her nest, the stronger your spiders, uh, spiderlings will become. After two upgrades, her uh, spider, you know, her spiderlings are going to gain a blind effect. So if you can upgrade her ultimate twice, her spiderlings are going to get a blind effect. So whenever they attack your opponent, they self-destruct, they will blind them. If you can upgrade her three times, they're going to get a silence effect. All right, so blind and silence. If you can uh, use her ultimate three times, and she's great at building energy, guys. That's when you use her ultimate, she builds a lot of energy faster. So it works out pretty good. Uh, another boosted effect is if the spiderlings die within her nest, uh, she will gain an, an extra 50 damage, right? Which is a just a little small added bonus, right? Now, I don't use her spiderlings here because I was waiting for them. <laughs> to build up but it turns out i didn't end up using them at all but let's go this is her fourth ability here guys this is called seed burst so she's gonna go on top of your enemy units and drops a seed that will explode damage as well as unleashing the plants that entangle your enemies uh enemies that are continuously in range of the exploding uh seed will take damage and be stunned all right so as you can see the more that she can hit your opponent so essentially if you think about it this ability kind of wants your enemies to move around but our ultimate will damage them is unbeneficial for them to move around all right so her abilities work really really well together right if if your opponent has five heroes that are not going to come to your side of the field they're not going to be affected by your nest then this ability is going to stun them which is really really cool as you can see she drops the boom there goes the seed bomb does damage and confused I mean, stunned three heroes right there because they're in a good range. So, if they're standing still over there in one, a one area, they're going to be stunned. If they're moving around, then she they're getting uh, affected by her nest, which is <laughs> bad, bad. It's bad news for both, you know, either one. So, that seems pretty cool. Fourth ability is nice. Now, she's as our third ability, which we will talk about in just a second here, but... It's not working at the moment because it's such a low level. It's only level 5 or 6, so it doesn't really affect them until the very end, which I'll show you guys how that is. But now we're going to another ultimate here, and this is, I think, her second, or this is one, two, I think her second or third ultimate. And as you can see, she further expands the territory, guys. So yeah, so with the first ultimate, she goes midway with her second ultimate she goes almost a quarter three quarters of the way and then if you can ultimate again it goes the whole field and everybody's affected by your nest so yeah so this pushes her um you know nest further back also upgrades your spiderlings bump them up bump the spiderlings up more damage for them and now they got a silence effect as well well at this point i think they get a blind and then a silence effect no that this little attack is just a basic attack guys it doesn't really do much now she goes back into her burst uh, her you know burst seed she's gonna drop right on top of their heads does some damage also boom stuns them as well and that's why i said it's a really good ability because um this is going to stun in the middle of the battle very cool so i really like this ability the seed there and then her last ability which we will get into in just a second here because it it hasn't been working all the way up to here and then it works at the very end here because it's low level, but I use another ultimate here, guys, which will show you another expansion of her arena. So it goes all the way full. Now the whole arena is full. Everybody's affected by her nest. And then there she goes. When she hops around like that, that's when she's using the seed ability there. And as you can see, finally happened in snare. Bella entangles the enemy vines, you know, in the vines. And then it's continuously draining their health while they're entangled. All right. So that's what that ability, that's her third ability. Um, that's what it does. So, really, really cool abilities, guys. I love her abilities. I think they're tremendous. Like, they work so perfectly together. Her ultimate opens more of her nest, which upgrades her spider links. Her seed bomb causes your opponents to be stunned unless they move out of the way. And if they move out of the way, they have to jump over and, you know, enter her area, which will, if they take damage, they lose energy. So, it's all working so perfectly well together. I think it's a great combination of abilities. I think it's really, really sick. It makes a lot of sense for the arena. It could actually make a lot of sense for raids or Hall of Legends. I'll have to take a look at that as well because, I mean, she is giving them a physical and a magic boost. So, really, really cool. I love her abilities so far in the battle. It seems 
on paper, they seem cool, guys. They seem like it's definitely doable. We'll have to find out more in action as we, you know, do, you know, try her out a lot more. But on paper and what I'm seeing so far, I do like these abilities for sure. All right, guys. So this is going to conclude Bella's spotlight video. I hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed the battle sequence. I hope you uh, understand what her abilities are all about. I mean, I personally, I love them. I think they work so great together, like I said before. I can't wait to max them all out try them all out and then finally awaken her and actually give her a even bigger bonus to all of her abilities so enemies that enter bella's territory will be stunned that's huge guys so immediately as they enter this is i'm talking about her awakening immediately when they enter they're gonna be stunned and entangled and then spiderlings will also appear next to them next to the enemy and take and attack them so this awakening automatically i can tell is going to give her a huge huge boost and it's going to be very very usable in the arena she seems like she's going to be a great hero for the arena guys i'm loving what i'm seeing from her and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed that leave a like if you did and i'll catch you guys on the next hero spotlight till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night guys peace out